Hi, I'm Olivia Lundman. Hi, Olivia. You're just about to come to the end of your BTEC Extended National Diploma in Performing Arts at uh, Birmingham Theatre School, Joseph Chamberlain College. Uh, two years? A uh, long two years for you? Interesting? Yeah, definitely. Okay, the right decision for you to do it yeah, in the first place. Yeah. Okay. Um, over the two years, you've obviously played a range of parts. Uh, has it all been about acting, or has there been some written work? Because what people often ask about a course like this is, it's all about just acting. Is it just about acting? Not really. We do physical theatre. Okay. We do voice classes, so it's not all about acting. Really. Okay, so you do technique stuff yeah. as well. And what about the written work? There's people have different opinions about the written work. There's, there's loads of written work. We do a business unit. Mm. We do a historical context unit. Too. Okay. And you had a trip this uh, spring term to the RSC, is that right? Yeah. And what was involved in that trip? What was that all about? We'd done a workshop and yeah. we watched a play of what, Shakespeare. What Love Labour's one yeah. was it? Okay. And that was in support of the Macbeth production you were doing, yeah? And what part were you in Macbeth? I played Lady Macduff okay. and Seaton. Okay, and what was involved? Was it just a one-off performance or did you do a tour? No, we'd done a tour. We went to local schools mm -hmm. and we've done a couple of performances yeah. at the theatre. So school. you did a performance sort of over the four weeks, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, was there any sort of specific skills that you had to learn when approaching the work with Shakespeare? Um, we had to first grasp the language okay. and then with Macbeth we had to do a lot of stage fighting as well. Okay, so you were, everybody was involved in yeah. that, okay. You were also involved in the production of uh, a What a Lovely War as part of the 100 year centenary yeah. um, to commemorate the first ending of the First World War. So tell me a little bit about um, what was involved in that for you. With Oh What a Lovely War, I feel like that was my personal favourite because yeah. it was a musical so we got to a lot of different things and I was playing three different characters mm -hmm. so I got to explore them which was good. Sometimes you don't always get what you want because no. you know, I know that you were really not very happy that you didn't get to play one of the vaudeville girls because yeah. you were so desperate to play that but actually in the end it worked out for the best for you because you got to play two or three really quite sizable vocal characters um, and that you, did that help you to develop as an actor? Definitely because I feel like the vaudeville girl it would have been easy for me because it was just singing and dancing really okay. whereas america and they made me be a man and they made me like masculine up do you know what i mean so i do it was a challenge so obviously you have to sometimes play men um because just the nature of being a drama yeah. school really you can't always just play type cast roles uh you've got your graduation show coming up in the next two weeks what what's that involved Who, who's johnston is an officer and okay. That character, when I saw the casting list, I just didn't know what to do because it's so different. But then what I've learned with it is different is good. Okay, so you're playing a sort of male character. Yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, and that's about to finish, isn't it? And then you're off where? The university in London. To do? Drama. Okay, be in acting. Well, we really do wish you all the very best with that. And um, thank you very much for your time. Thank, thank you. you.